Alrighty, everybody. Jimmy is muted, I believe. And I have him on the other line. It is time to interview the one, the only, Jimmy Jams. There you are, Jimmy. I just gotta, I just gotta <laughs> adjust it. The screen. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, a little, a little busted, but don't worry. It, we're, we're, I, I should have gotten with you to adjust this beforehand. You can't even see my hair in this. Screen. Well, there you go. How there about, how about there? Go. How about there? There we go. We look. Oh, there we go. You gotta get all the hair in the picture. <sighs> hey, and I think though. it, I think it works. I think it works. I think that because I'm just not looking at my, my the, the other screen. Because if yep. I look at it, your voice is not synced, and it is crazy. <laughs> so, Jimmy, yes, I do man. have... Thank you for having me on. Yep. First off, thank you for having me on your uh, your show. And thank, thank you, you so for, for being here. There is one question that I feel is very, very important. The other day, we were talking about people that believe in some sort of afterlife or something. So, mm. do you think that anybody from the past dead relatives can watch over you and if um, so how do you feel about them watching you when you were a young teenager in your own bedroom doing the nasty see here's the thing i've thought about this because i i was raised in a very religious setting um my grand both sides of grandparents most of my family are super religious and i was always told that uh it wasn't that the dead relatives were watching over me that actually my grandparents specifically my grandmother mm. was so in tune with god that she knew everything so there was a brief period in my life that i was scared to do anything because my grandma would know that i was doing sinful acts um then i realized um maybe that's not the truth so yeah there were there was a, a brief time where uh it wasn't the the dead that our dead relatives are up in heaven uh watching over us but there are live family members that know because they speak through that entity you know what i'm saying they have that relationship so they know what's going on in the family so yeah okay yeah. so what yeah. would you say to the people that do believe in dead family members watching over them how do you propose that they handle sexual intercourse do you uh, think that there's a way to hide is there a way to block the vision um so i was thinking about this because this again plays into that if i were to tell somebody I, I guess the question is what would i tell them about intercourse and making sure nobody sees it right like like just, just just imagine people watching over your every move how do you hide that from them is it possible um, or can I, do I they have like x-ray vision can they see everything i don't think it's x-ray vision and i don't think it's a physical okay if we're gonna go like philosophical here i don't think it's a physical like they're watching physical it's more of a mental thing they know what you're thinking um so the only thing i could think of is put your tinfoil hat on maybe grab two or three more blankets you know cover yourself up to try to stop that uh that vision of dead relative but uh yeah, mm. I think it's they can't physically see what you're doing. They know what your intent is mentally. Um, so always try to keep clear thoughts. So if you are having intercourse with somebody, don't think about it. Uh, just blank your mind out. Uh, think about anything else but uh, the intercourse you're having at the time. I see, I see. That may be asking a lot from people in the South to try to get the relatives out of the mind during intercourse. But you're true. That's correct, yes. Okay, so that is the advice. But saying that it's more of a mental thing. So you're, what you're trying to tell me is religious people think that their family is in their head with them while they're getting that ass. Yeah, so, and, and, and some people may enjoy that, but I think it is a mental thing. Um, they do believe that they know, they're all knowing. Because I think people in the South, because I've obviously I've been here for a really long time. I'm from North Cuba and then moved uh, further south into uh, one of the Carolinas, that a lot of religious people, uh, <laughs> sorry, just the delay, I saw you smiling in the corner of my life. Really. <laughs> you uh, said North, <laughs> North Cuba, bro. Yeah, that's, a, North Cuba, yeah. that's a hell of a change going from North Cuba to South Carolina. Yes. Um, yeah, and I, I think 
putting into people's mental states of what is right and wrong uh, can kind of, I guess, is try to make you think before you act. If you're thinking about your grandmother, you know, waving her finger at you like, no, 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 don't get in the puss. Um, that might lead into uh, you stopping altogether. I, for one, because... think that my grandma would be proud of me for getting the puss. She she told me that she's the one that taught me how to dance, taught me how to cook, told me. I mean, it told me the inspiration was always this is how you're going to get a woman to love you. Oh, OK, yeah. even um, though that's totally not it. My girlfriend hates to dance. Uh, intercourse for me uh well what i was taught is for procreation only uh mm. don't have fun doing it uh, there's only one uh, reason to have the intercourse is to create more people the raw dog to serve the, the the raw dog yes um because there's no reason to wear a condom if you're only having marital sex bottom line mm. so only marital sex yes did they let you watch porn like were you allowed to enjoy someone oh. else's porn or someone are else's you, sex are you at okay so you're asking me <laughs> if it was okay to watch pornography well yeah I because i mean if you're like like i don't know there's a lot of temptation out in the world if if you're gonna say hey you can't can't go getting anything done are you at least allowed to live vicariously through someone getting it done or is that also well, not allowed it's definitely not allowed. This is, uh, that's lust. That's sin of the mm. flesh. Mm. Um, you shouldn't enjoy, you shouldn't pleasure yourself. Uh, only your marital partner should pleasure you. Uh, so mm. porn was off the table. Um, I definitely ate cornflakes, uh, seven days a week, uh, to keep the hands off of old little Jimmy. Oh, shout uh, out so, Kellogg. Shout out Kellogg. Uh, no free press, no free ads. Um, True. Sorry, I'm going to strike that from the record. Uh, but no, pornography was definitely off the table because that's lust and you're lusting after... To, you know, you're not supposed to lust after your neighbor's wife or partner anyway. So somebody in that video you're watching could be married and then you're, boom, you're breaking a law, right? You're breaking the what, commandment. Okay, uh, so, so don't do that. is there any any form of loophole at all that you can think of? Uh, traditionally towards from what I was raised in? Yes. No. 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 Don't touch yourself. Don't look That's at That's a lot people. of sperm building and building uh, up. You must have had huge yeah. balls. Um, well, here's one thing. I remember being in elementary school, correct? Um, probably fifth grade. And yes, the balls are large. But in fifth <laughs> grade, uh, there was, we had sex education. They showed us a video and they were talking they separated us from uh you know the boys and the girls at the time um and we watched videos and there was a video of this kid he thought he pissed his bed he was like oh no i peed the bed and mommy's like oh no you had a wet dream you just came all over the place um so i waited my entire life waiting for that it never happened so i think uh those sex ed videos in elementary school were caparoonie per trevor man uh caparoonie um i i'm still waiting for one Okay, so, wow, uh, that, now that brings up the only potential loophole. Okay. Is it considered bad if you weren't in your conscious state of mind doing it? Like, would, would, like, do you, do you just, do you just get smacked in the, smacked in the face for that wet dream? I feel like that's uh, the loophole. I, I understand the loophole, so, um, accidental ejaculation um or what if you're one I of the what if you're the one percent of men that when you sneeze you ejaculate is is that a statistic for real uh not one probably point one but there is point a percent one. there is a statistic like that i would enjoy trying that at least once um but the loophole i see like okay you 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 weren't in your mind but what if you were laying face really down hunter on the bed and you accidentally uh, that's crazy l l i have a muted by the way so i'm not talking the, over the mattress on the sheets um, I feel like that could uh, that could constitute some type of uh, uh, sin, some kind of uh, mm. lust. So uh, you got to be careful. Make sure you're always lay on your back because you don't want uh, your genitalia rubbing on anything during the night that could cause that sin. I see. I see. Yes. Pretty harsh rules. Yes. So now, Jimmy, that follow up question. How long till you decided you know what? Nah, can't do it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get out there and I gotta give the body what it wants. 
Okay, um, it's a valid question. I believe, um, let's see. Hmm, to be completely honest, it was probably 13, 14. That's actually a long time. It, yeah, well, here's the thing. I mean, I, uh, it's the same for me, but when you put it into context, yeah, that's well, a Jimmy's, long time. You know, Jimmy, speaking in third person, uh, as you have uh, called me many times, is weathered. So I have a few years mm -hmm. on you. Um, I didn't grow up with technology. Uh, we used to drive around the neighborhood on our bicycles, looking through people's recycle bins, looking for old porno mags. Um, that's how we figured our stuff out. Yes, and we found quite, you'd be, back in the day, you would find them and we would hide them. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it, it, I think there was this phase, like people would talk about, oh, you'd be in school. Obviously there was people that, you know, weren't under the totalitarianism of my mom and dad, and they were kind of free to do what they want. So you heard people talk about it, but you never really pursued it because you were scared. Well, I was scared. I was afraid, you know, my mom and dad would find out and be terrified. Um, but yeah, about 13, 14, something like that, until I was like, oh, there it is. Cool. I like this. This is nice. Okay. Yes. I think an interesting thing to do what I would like to do at some point mm -hmm. is talk to a porn star and see how they were raised and growing up. Because what would it imagine how much how crazy it would be to hear that a porn star was raised the same way and just snapped one day. I feel like I would... feel like that's I feel like that's an absolute possibility. I've been around people that were forced into holy situations mm -hmm. and I seen them go absolutely rogue once they oh. once they decide oh, yeah. Like, like worse than most of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet okay. you. I wonder what the statistic on that. I it, you know, I don't have the stats with me, and I haven't done any kind of research, but it has to be over fifty percent. I, I think so. I think I'm with you. If we maybe do, maybe you one know, day we can sample get... size. Maybe yeah. Maybe we can go out and talk to some. But I feel that's got to be um, yeah. And that's got to be a large possibility. And that's how exactly how it happens. Yeah, because. A friend of mine, she was forced into the religious stuff. Like she was like big time into it. Like she, she like yell at me for this and that. And then when we turned about seventeen, we were at a party and um, this this girl got alcohol poisoning. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I didn't even, I've never even alcohol poisoned myself. And you're out here drinking enough to, to alcohol poison. Yeah. yeah. So I, I feel like I feel like that is an element in it. I feel like being held from something rather than educated on it does make you do it stupidly and that and i think that's the other thing the trying to push the fear tactic on someone that if you do x y and z one two and three is going to happen so you're kind of like oh you're real standoffish about everything um and that i feel like that could lead to more problems in the future because you were just told that if you do this this will happen but you don't see the clearer picture you're just mm -hmm. told don't do it it's terrible uh, and, and then you're not fully educated moving on into adult hor uh, ad adulthood, adult whoring, adulthood, adult whoring, uh, adulthood, or you know your your teen uh, close to adulthood, and you really don't get how things happen. And it can lead to problems, and that's another thing. If you aren't educated, or you're not, you know, have any kind of, I guess, uh, a, any kind of experience, I feel like when you start to do that kind of stuff, and you're not knowing what you're doing i'm not saying you come out as a professional like you start out of the gate boom you know here i am but if you're not if you haven't learned what is going on i feel like it leads to problems and relationships things like that but that's just me I, I i really think people instead of a fear tactic a scare tactic that yes we can use a fear tactic but we should also use education to you know let people know what it's really about i think i agree with that completely because my grandma always told me Listen, if you're going to be doing stuff, use protection, because if you have a kid, I'm not raising him. And I feel like that's a very effective do it this way. If not, this happens. I think that's yeah. the the um, she, she was she was smart. Hey, but where I grew up, they were they were they tried to limit the amount of teenage pregnancies big time. Our health class mm -hmm. was like super. My, my school was shitty, but the. It was really good how they educated us. They told you about safe sex. They taught you about this, about that. What can get someone pregnant? What can't get someone pregnant? Blah, blah, blah. And the hospital gave out free condoms. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I was lucky enough um, to get my education, my obviously elementary, middle, high school. Topic, Albert, is... In North Cuba. I guess um, sex. Before I moved to where I'm at now, because I feel like the education's way different uh, from where I was to where I am mm. now. So I guess I'm a little bit lucky to be able to uh, uh, get those education courses where I was prior before moving here, because I feel like it's a whole... Literally, uh, what, how many? 400 miles separation how different things are taught oh yeah yeah oh yeah hey, that, that makes that's plenty mm -hmm. now and hunter says here in the good old south they only taught abstinence is the only option that yep. is a common thing i hear i hear yep. that a lot and i definitely don't agree with it because the, the kids are just gonna do it stupidly yep. i bet you in the south there's a big problem with teenage pregnancy i'm sure there's a big oh. problem with that everywhere but i'm sure in the south it's mm -hmm. very pre prevalent because you know, you got your little minute, your little minute man just getting girls pregnant like nothing because they didn't know to wrap it up. This is what confuses me about that, where, you know, abstinence is the only way to be safe, quote unquote, was these people in the South. I mean, you look at these old pictures of uh, of these families and mommy and daddy's got 23 children <laughs> and they're like they're like six months apart. I mean, literally like 26 children, the oldest is 13. Um, and like everybody has big families, things like not knocking big families. That's not what I'm saying, but yeah, no, no, it no. goes from, it goes from great, great grandmammy and pappy had 26 children and 50 great uh, grandchildren, you know? And then they're like, Whoa, don't you do it? You know? And then I think he has chastised to where you've made a mistake or, you know what I'm saying? You've made a mistake. Why, why have you done this? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what you're supposed to be doing, but I don't know. And it, it different back in the day, but I, I I think the education is silly and it needs to be better, to be honest. Do you with. think the accessibility of protection is one of the main reasons? Because now we have, like, women can go get themselves birth control. I'm not sure when that became a thing, but I feel like it wasn't in our grandparents' days. You think that's one of the reasons they had so many? Um, Maybe they were just bored. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like there was much to do back in the day in the 18, 1700s. Um, the 1800s. You know, everybody's just, you know, uh, you know, Pappy, uh, you know, great, great grandpappy just got back from the mines. You know, he's been shoveling coal for uh, 18 hours. For four uh, score? Uh, four score 18 hours ago. And uh, he, 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 maybe some puss is on the menu. I don't know. You know, they had their, their, their potato stew. There's no TV. There's nothing else to do. Uh, I guess I don't know. And you're right. I mean, uh, the the technologies and contraception things like that have obviously have grown. Um, but you still see it that with all the possibilities of contraception things like that, I can only speak on you know my you know as a yeah, uh, of course a man. Um, there's what I can do. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's I don't know. You go from 30, fa 30 children families to don't you ever see anybody naked ever again. So now here's the thing that I don't think a lot of people think about. <laughs> so the comments are... <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they're, they're, they're loving this. So here's the thing that I don't think a lot of people think about because it is true. Families were huge back then. My grandma is considered somebody that didn't have a lot of kids and she had seven. And that's yeah. like considered on the low end for her time period. Mm -hmm. So here's one thing. How did they find the time to have sex with that many kids in the house? Do you think the kids just hear what's going on? Do you think they kick them out of the house? Do you think they, cause it, we're talking traditional old days, you know, dad's at work probably. Yeah. Kids are at school. Dad and kids get home around the same time. Where do you find that time? Or does, does, do the kids just know what's going on? I'm going to assume the kids just know what's going on mm. because if you ever see any old pictures of the old houses, uh, it's small. literally one room. It's They're one small. Room. My uh, grandma, my table. grandma has a two-bedroom house and raised seven kids. Yeah, I mean, you, you got one giant room with all these children. Um, I'm just thinking, uh, either they go, I, I, well, you know, maybe you kick them out the house and then go play in the woods with the deer and the bear and you know all that while we mm. get it on then y'all come back because there's nobody around to take any of you unfortunately so you know then mommy and daddy can have another good time or you know whoever but uh yeah i think it was just either that i have a feeling they knew because i don't know how you keep 
23 prying eyes off of your intercourse, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Or you go out into the woods and get, and get your groove on, you know? Out into the... Hey, I do... Now that you brought that up, I do want to say, what is the strangest place you've you've had some form of intimate intercourse? Mine, 100%, is on top of my old high school. The very top of it. Climbed it. Had nowhere to go. I even set up well, a tent to, for, for visual protection. You, you put me in quite the predicament, Trevor, man. <laughs> um... I, uh, well, I mean, we, uh, the, the strangest place. I was agree with that, Hunter. And lifeguard now, stand. both of you. A lifeguard stand. Yeah. Were you a lifeguard or did you I have was a buddy? not that... a lifeguard. No, <laughs> no, we just, yeah, it was on a lifeguard stand. Very sandy. Very sandy. Very did you get sandy. sand on your cheeks? That's the biggest um, question of them all. Because how do you get sand out of the cheeks if you get if you get it up in there? Do you have to just well, shower and water power wash? Well, I mean the ocean is pretty powerful, so you just oh, kind of run down into enough, the ocean. Fair enough. Yeah, it was it was beach. It was the beach at midnight. Uh, you just kind of jump in the the ocean and let the uh, the waves clean you clean the sand out of your butthole. So. Yep, and strangely enough, in my case, the time on top of the school was also probably. The most embarrassing time because her brother actually caught us just because he knew where we like to go <laughs> yeah Woo. yeah that's probably the the scariest that's probably i, I want to say i i've never I, I try not to fear people but at that point in time i i you know your your brother is he a big guy yeah, oh yeah he's a big guy he was Ooh. older uh, me, he was a dealer. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, that's, that's that's not worried. We're not worried about how big he is, about what he no, does no, no, on no. the side. Hey, uh, the, the <laughs> lead. He does on the no side. matter how small he is, the lead would have taken me out. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, we we used to have um, on our top of our school it was middle school. Somebody was growing marijuana on top of the roof. I, that's actually pretty smart. It was. It was, and it got too tall. Somebody saw it, and they <laughs> went up there and got it. <laughs> oh, hey, so the thing to take from this is that the top of the school is not the safest place to do stuff. Probably not. No. The marijuana was found. I was found, and you Full see, question. you feel was you feel vulnerable. School? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I was about to say you were. Oh right. no, no, not during <laughs> I school. I thought it was oh, during no. school. That was would like... be that would be absolutely unacceptable behavior. Somebody heard the Trevor man uh, on top of that roof. No, give no, this old, was even on the old heave ho. This was about two in the morning, Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday. I don't remember. No, okay. Just uh, she snuck <laughs> out. I, no. you know, honestly, I think this girl was cursed because that happened one time. Another time, we were in her at her house, getting kind of frisky, and her mom came home from work early, and her mom was like, kind of kind of one of those really strong really scary women like 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 she was scared of her mom she was scared of her mom that that's a way to yep. put it and the dad was just not around okay. so but me I, I'm, I'm a sly i'm a sly dude man and and the mom was already suspicious of us so you know she'd always want to like you know look around and see what's going on yep. so I'm, I'm a sly guy dude i i jump into the closet put my phone on vibrate that's a veteran move you want to make sure that the possibility of a text doesn't give you away. Yep. And I tell her, hey, your mom's going to want to come check your room because she always wants to see if I'm here. So here's what you do. Turn the music up. Lock it. When she knocks, say you're changing and then open that goddamn window and I'm flying through the window. <laughs> she, she was on the second story, bro. But I knew. <laughs> see, this is this is like this is like map awareness. I knew that there was a shrub down there that I could land in that would break the fall. And that's also when I learned a lot about um, the second law of physics, because I, I was a big guy that that shit still hurt, but I survived. And so what then, you're saying, what you're saying is her mom didn't want y'all to be having intercourse in her house. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Yes. Oh, well, I, I think she didn't. I think she didn't want me. Uh, mom. And she just left. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then closed the door. What kind of stepping on are we talking about here? 
Um, I'm, 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 I'm very intrigued. Well, here's the thing. You, it, it was like a, it was like a spare room, and they had like an air mattress on it. And uh, she had opened the door and started to walk into the room and stepped on my leg, while I was laying on the floor. Oh, okay. See, and she was. She my, turned my the light off. Oh, I'm mind was sorry. Elsewhere. I turned the light off and just left. So, um, yeah. No, no, no. I'm not into that. I, she didn't have the heels <laughs> okay. on. And she okay. didn't have the okay. heels on and giving me the old stomp, stomp. No, no. That's, okay. That's, no, no. Oh, See, the heel boy's not into that. I couldn't handle that. I, I was just a bit. I was thinking, Jimmy, that I'm not have sure if that's acceptable seen? or not. Have you seen where just straight up punt the nuts? <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah. Like, no. How? Why? I, it couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. I just, that's, that's rough. Jimmy, I've sat on my nuts once before, and that's probably the worst thing I've ever been through. <laughs> I've, uh, yeah, we were, I was at work, it was a long time, uh, years ago. I was drilling, uh, holes in a box with a hole saw, and we were going, and I kind of was, it was about a little bit low. The box was about as high as my, my pelvis crotch area. So I was, you know, like, you know, putting a hand down, trying to cut through this, uh, got caught and kicked and smacked me right in the testicles. The drill did. Had a right. Power battery in... on it too. Right. It just kicked around. Wow. And I was, ooh, I thought you... they got, I thought they got torn off. You had to, gone. you have to have been out of commission for at least a week. I think I went home. To be honest with you. Yeah. Couldn't whenever I, I threw up the day that I sat on mine. And the I day bet. I the day I sat on mine, we had uh, we had a Rocket League. Uh, not a it wasn't a LAN event, so I didn't let them down big time. But it was scrims and shit. I <laughs> I, I had to tap out of that. And they had to, <laughs> the the coach had to play, bro. And they got they got they got worked. They got waxed uh, like like five to two. But and they still hold it against me. But yeah. dude, I, I couldn't at work. I actually had to clear my desk and lay on my stomach at on work so that I wasn't scrunched. So that I was like, like sti up stiff as possible. My boss, I told my boss what happened. I told him I sat on my nuts and I, I just cannot function unless you allow me to work like this. <laughs> like well, it's then, either that or I'm gonna take the a sick week and you're gonna have to figure out how to do this shit without me. Well, so do we circle back around and be like maybe you should be wearing underwear at work? I so you so they don't dangle mm -hmm. on on the on the seat. And well, it, that, that that changed everything for me. I used to wear boxers. Ooh, now no. I now to this day, since that day, I I actually threw away all my boxers. Really? I either threw them away or gave them to my girlfriend. She wears them as shorts. There you go. But yeah, I, yeah, I only I, go briefs now. Boxer briefs. They give you yeah. nice support, nice and tight, but not yeah. too tight to where it hurts the thighs. They're, they're just yeah, it still gives the thigh protection. Yes. You know, so your thighs don't rub. Uh, we had that issue with uh, my mom, one of her friends that uh, worked for her. Her son had to have his, uh, we talked about this, his testicles surgically unraveled because of his boxer usage. Um, and that's rough. Yeah, don't mind the uh, file explorer that just came up. That was an accident. I thought it was <laughs> me. I was like, oh, geez, what have I done? <laughs> no, 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 no. That That is me. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Having the testicles removed, huh? No, not removed. Untangled. Untangled. Because do you think, all your, your hoses get tangled up. Do you think... Would you do this if it was possible to avoid that? Because that sounds awful. It sounds like it could happen as we get older and they get mm -hmm. more dangled. Would you do a surgery... Like if they paid you if you to donate a testicle and you'd still have all the same functionality. Yes. You could still have kids. I think I would as well. I think I'd be willing to give up one to avoid ever having them tangled. Is there any monetary gain, or you just? Oh no, you, you just... can no, you can sell a testicle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's actually I mean, yeah. you can actually do that. I think, but I'd then you okay can't. But you can't have them. kids. Take both of them, and then we could put some uh, some clackers in there, or you know, some you know some. How about those little? Balls? How about those little marbles that when you throw them up, they go. Little <laughs> <laughs> magnets. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, like ping pong balls. You could tell, you, you could know, say, you could very say. Light. Just imagine. They float in the water. Imagine the day you do that. It's like, hey, Hunter, check this out. And you just you just jump up like that and it's. I mean, yeah. I mean, that could be like your mating call. Mating call. Watch this, watch <laughs> this jump. Um, no, I mean, if I could make some money, of course. 
You can have one. You can have both. I think the going rate is actually quite high. Hey Siri. For real. What is the price of an adult testicle? <laughs> okay, I found this on the web. What is the price of an adult testicle? Check mm. it out. Wow, that is a lot of money. It seems like you can get about... I think I might have to go sell a testicle. It sounds like you can get $89,000 for a testicle. 89... That's... <laughs> Okay, it's a lie though. That, that's the first website. I I I, I want to be clear to everybody. Don't go sell your nuts just yet. Like, oh, I need like, to do the on. the research. Oh, hold on. Uh, I mean, for eighty nine hundred, <laughs> I'll sell one. Uh, you can have Dude, if you give me ten, if you give me ten stacks right now, I'll go give up a nut. I might I'm even saying, give like, up both. You don't even have to put one back in. It'd be like, bro, I eighty nine thousand. Eighty nine thousand. I'd consider giving them the like a few inches off the. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can take the tip in both balls for $89,000. i am yeah. down for it. Yeah, I mean, take look, you can take the sack. Just look, just one big chunk, like a tea bag. Yeah. And there's yeah. nothing. You don't have to put nothing back. Okay? It could just be. I mean, according hey, to my friend G's, you just get gonorrhea and get super girthy, and then you make up for it. it then exactly. You can have the saying, short like, and stubby. Just, just snip it off, and then uh, we can go. we can go with it. Yeah, and um, Hunter says nine. that you don't need more noises coming from your undercarriage. What kind of what, my well, follow-up question is: What kind of noises are coming from your your genital well, you, area? You you've been around to the channel. You've heard the rat crack. Um, oh, okay, okay. The, yeah, it's the rat crack. My balls don't make noise. Uh, hmm. Not yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just the rat crack. Uh, sometimes and it's involuntary. Sometimes I don't know if that's with the age um, or Probably. you know. But here's the thing. This is a question for you, Trey. I know you're asking yeah. me questions. No, 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 no. When you, Feel free. When you wake up, when you wake up in the morning, how do you decompress? I. It depends. By decompress, we mean we mean morning wood. You just let no. Just oh, you let out some gas. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, morning wood. No, I didn't mean, uh, well, on. We were just talking about you shouldn't be doing that because we've done discuss with you what needs to happen. Well, I'm married I'm by about... common law. We've lived together for five years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, do what you will with said morning wood. Yeah, I'm no. We're talking about, you know, you ate the night before, you've been sitting in the bed, you've been laying down all night. I know we work different schedules, but, I mean, you just got to let them rip when you wake oh, up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The alarm, the alarm goes off, and you're like, all right, time to start the well, day. You see, and, I'm and traumatized by shitting myself. I, I, I told you, I've shit myself, not as like a kid, but like as like a teenager, like 16, 17. So I've been traumatized. So to what I do to this day, I I, I wake up with a lot of gas, like you said. Mm -hmm. I go and sit on the toilet and let it all rip as hard as I can first, just in case something slips out. <laughs> I mean, that is... I, I, listen, trauma is real. I, I, I have not forgotten that I shit myself and was the most vulnerable I've ever been. I use the gas to like propel myself out of bed in the morning. It's more of a propulsion type thing. Oh, it's like uh, a jetpack effect. Yeah, Newton, it's like Newton, a jetpack. Newton's third law. Exactly. Opposite um, and equal reaction. Boom. You know, physics. Mm. Whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what. And that's what. That she doesn't like that. And then when it's time for bed, well, what else is what else are you supposed to do with the gas? Are you just supposed to sit exactly. there uncomfortable? Am I, am you're, in own, you're in your own. You're in your own house in your own bed. Am I supposed to get out of bed, pull the cover off, walk all the way to the bathroom, and let it rip in there? No way! I mean, if I'm being no honest, way. if 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 my missus complained about my farting in the morning, I I may be tempted to throw the blanket over her head and then let it rip. And sometimes you're ready for bed. You've you've taken your contacts out, brushed your teeth, you know, mm. got changed. There's one last thing to do before bed: decompress one more time. I agree. And you can't be standing up. But you can't do it standing up because it has to be the last thing you do before bed. So you can't, like, do it and then get in bed. That's not the last step. Yeah. So you get in bed. That's the last step before bed. So and then so is her is her proposition that you get up, fart, and get back in bed? Like, is that the actual, yes. is that a discussion yeah. that's happened? Yeah. Why do you have to do, quote, unquote, why do you have to do that here? Hmm. hmm. You you may have to you may have to say it could be worse. Pull the blanket over and then let it rip. I could give her the old buttercup. But you, you yeah. may want to wait a few months for obvious reasons That's because yeah. okay. because there's a good chance you could die from that. 
Uh, especially if I have those uh, the, the these uh, jalapeno burgers. Mm, those and to- those will hit different. <laughs> and so, man, tomorrow we're having uh, deviled eggs. So, well, good luck to Happily Hunter. She'll need it. She'll need it. All right. So, Jimmy, I don't want to. I want. You, I know you have a football game to get to. So, I do have a few things though. Before, okay. before we do that, there is just a few things I want to do. Oh, you're fine. So. I was thinking of how to do this. How much of a delay are you running on? Like when you look at the stream. Like let me let me let me let me, let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me clap and then tell me when All you right. see the clap. Alright. Just now. Okay. So then it's not terrible because okay. I have a few I wanna play a little game with you. Where I have a few pictures of <laughs> what? Nothing, I just <laughs> Is uh, concerned or what? Just a little concerned. That's all right. Not nervous. Concerned. No, just I just want to. I want to play a little game with you where I'm gonna show a picture, uh-huh. and all you gotta do is identify the person in the picture and give me one sentence about them. <laughs> Does that sound easy enough? I guess so. Okay. All right, so identify and then just yeah, give just one say, sentence. Yeah, like so. An example. Let's say. Let's say it's uh, Katy Perry. I'd say, okay. oh, that's Katy Perry. I really like her music. She she's pretty cool. It's simple, okay. you know. I don't. I'm not asking that. I want to ask a ton from you. Okay. I, I, keep it keep it as simple as you'd like, or make it as complex as you'd like. Okay. So first, here we go. Here's the first picture. Andre three thousand. Uh, great lyricist. Um, definitely a big part of my childhood. Makes great music. Um, and his music videos back in the day were wild. Nice. See, nice, easy start. I, I don't want it. I don't want to easy stress start. you. I don't want to stress you out too much. What if Same. I don't know who they are? Oh, you can say that too. Okay. Uh, Elon Musk, um, invents a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff, has a lot of money. And I think people should leave him alone about trying to give his wealth away to everyone. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think that's all fair things to say. Now, what, what about here? I'm starting to spice it up a little bit. Uh, Big Bird from Sesame Street. Um, not one of my favorite characters of the show. I feel like he was a snitch. Um, mm. He couldn't be trusted. I think he was a little too tall. And he, them stupid things on his legs always pissed me off. Okay. Only two more. Okay. So now finally... One maybe a little more complicated. Mm-hmm. I have no idea who that is, to be completely honest. Is that a safe answer? No, that's my real answer. I don't know who that is. Okay. Might be a little too new for me. I'm not sure who that is. I'm assuming they're in the industry. Industry. Yes. And if they're not, is that you, you... Uh, Danger? Yes, yes, it sure oh, okay. is. Okay. Um, hey. I like her shirt. Very attractive looking uh, person. I haven't. If you could give me an example of any later of something that I could get a better understanding of who this is, I would appreciate it. But uh, she's yeah, on Instagram. She's, oh, she's on Instagram. Okay. So there you go. Safe she's, for work. And she has one of the best profile pictures I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a cartoon version of herself, but in underwear. Being she held, has very nice teeth. Being held by Hey Arnold. She she animated herself to look like she's in Hey Arnold. Okay. Very, very interesting. She has very nice teeth. Not as good as yours, Trevor Man, but she has very nice teeth. I agreed there. And finally, the last one. Well, as you know, that's your boy Jimmy. The man loves to be hydrated. He loves sucking at video games, but he's a pretty cool guy, and uh, I think you'd like him if you got to know him. And very nice. He he does work. He does work. That that that's the final the final sentence. I, I'm just I'm just <laughs> glad you didn't. I'm glad you didn't blur out my my uh my work on the thing. Don't worry, you just seem like. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Don't worry, Jimmy. We already know where you work. 
But yeah. Yep. All right, Jimmy. Well, I think that is going to conclude it for now. If you have anything you'd like to say, anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to plug, this is the time. Um. Hey, biggest thing, follow me on Twitter. I like tweeting. I need more people. Uh, follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I just want to find more. I'm looking for more uh, gamers to follow on Instagram. Uh, you know, if you want to hit me up on Twitch, I'm there Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I appreciate that plug, Trevor, man. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, we do a lot of uh, storytelling games, a lot of adventure games, a lot of puzzle games, and I suck at puzzle games. And uh, the great chat thing. loves and chat loves to feed me beer uh, the whole time. So uh, five at a I time. Appreciate that, Trevor, man. Five at a time. Well, thank you for you your time. On, yeah, and thank you for your time. I know you got a sure. game to get ready for. Who do they play? Uh, Arkansas. Arkansas. Oh, that's, that's, that should be a walk in the park. I hope so. I hope but so. who knows? I mean, Texas lost to Kansas. That would be I a tragedy. That would be a tragedy. How long? How long would it take for you to move on if they lost today? Um, to 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 somebody of of Arkansas's ca caliber. It it, uh, it it would take me. A well, here's the problem. I would get over it quickly. Other people wouldn't let me get over it. Oh, that's, that's, that's true. Yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah, that's what it is. And especially when you're from an area that college football is the biggest thing mm -hmm. that we have going for us. It's hard to live down losses because they won't let you forget. That's true. That's true. Because the Panthers are not good enough to be talked about in your area, I'd imagine. Nope. And are the, neither are the Falcons. They had a good run. They just choked. They did. They don't have any wide receivers anymore. Everybody's gone. All righty, Jimmy. Well, I right. will talk to you. Um, hit me up if you're on Halo or something at any point. Or Vanguard. Yes, sir. There's a double XP we'll event do. going right now for guns. Yes, sir. We'll do. See you, bro. Sounds good. Yeah, man. Well, that went well. I think that that was very educational. I think we learned a lot today. I think there's a lot of good messages to be sent, right? I think if anything, we learned a lot about the future. See, Jimmy's a scientist, so I wanted to keep I wanted to keep the talk sciency. You get me? I wanted to make sure that we talked about something that is important, something based in factual science, such as sexual education. And through the goofs and the gaffes and the absolute nonsense, I feel that an important message was made, an important, an important theme that needs to be carried out, and that is that we need to teach about sex rather than kind of treat it as taboo I think I think it's important man I really think it's important that's why I've talked about it a lot I think it's important because I, I think of I think of like you know like my little brother's gonna he's gonna be at that age here in a couple years he's gonna be at that age in a couple years where he's ready to to talk about that and I don't want schools, you know, kind of telling you, making it sound like it's this evil thing because kids are going to do it anyways. So I think it's important to make sure that the damage is limited rather than live in a fantasy world where where there's no damage, where everybody's an angel. And I don't think that's the, that's the solution. Big dog. So that was the theme of this. We also learned that... Um, that Jimmy has been kind of freaky in a lifeguard station. That's pretty cool, actually. It beats the hell out of my school. It beats the hell out of my school, to be honest. Hey, but I'm a gentleman, right, for setting up the tent? Setting up the tent was very gentlemanly, huh? I think that that's probably one of the best things I've ever done. Oh, boy. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for me. On top of school, wild, man. I mean, it was really late, though. I don't want it to seem like I was taking a huge risk or anything out, but it wasn't like, like, oh, in broad daylight. It was like two in the morning, three in the morning. It was like two, three in the morning. So, you know. Hey, um, Damaf, I have a question for you. That's, that's you in the, in your profile picture on Twitter, right? I did, I did mean to ask you that. 
Nah? Oh, okay, I thought that was you. I was gonna say, damn, dude, you look like you look like you get down. Down on some guitar. I thought that was you, man. I was like, I was like, shit, Demav looks like Demav looks like he'll outplay anybody in on the guitar. I thought it was you. When I saw that picture, I was like, shit. If I ever need a theme song created, we're going to Demaf. I don't really show anybody what I look like. Hey, I feel I feel that. Just remember to stay safe. Absolutely, Esty. 100%. Safety is what matters now. But yeah, he's a great musician. You mean the sloth? Yeah, the sloth. Yeah, Demaf is actually a sloth. 100% sloth. Sloth of Rooney. But everybody, message of the day, keep it safe. If you're going to get dirty, keep it safe. Wrap it up. Get tested. Ask partners to be tested. Your health is more important than a little, little five minutes of uh, five minutes of fun. Why five minutes? Listen, I know I know you guys are out there just, just pew, 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 and coming quick. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So just wrap it up. Get tested. Have people tested. Otherwise, someone's going to come knocking at your door. And it might be gonorrhea. And if it's gonorrhea, you guys already know. You guys already know how they fix that. You guys know how they fix that shit. I don't think you guys want that shit happening to y'all, right? I mean, if you do want that happening to you, then hey, you know what? Absolute menace. So we'll be back tomorrow at the same damn time. No, we won't. We'll be back Monday at the same damn time. I'm off Sundays. We'll be back on Monday at 10 a.m. if you're in the mountain time zone. That is going to be 11 a.m. If you're in the mountain time, noon central, 1 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. for Fred. That is going to be 6 p.m. for Old Chips and 7 p.m. for Edma. Everybody else, figure that shit out. And when you figure it out, send it to me. DM me. DM me and I'll, I'll add it to the list. We have, um, Mount, we have California, Mountain, Central, Eastern, Fred, and Edson and Chips time. We have seven time zones right now. Long story short is the stream is over. But life goes on forever. Well, 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 we have a transition. <laughs>